Surely this cannot be the swan song of the Grand National. That is the hope of hundreds of thousands at Aintree. It's a fine day, so everything contributes to the crowd being nearly up to attendances of the vintage years before the war. That this splendid trophy will never be raced for here again, unthinkable, say the optimists. Owners, too, are being spurred on to win honour and glory, and the place in racing history. Marvellous if the Queen Mother should attain that place. With her is Princess Margaret. The Rip, the Queen Mother's horse, is second favourite. The favourite is Freddy. Top weight, the 11 stone 10, a tremendous burden to carry twice round Aintree. Bill Reese rides the Rip, and up on Ned's Ma is Jay Hudson. Only a few minutes now to the off. It's a huge field, 47 horses getting into place for the start. There are royal eyes on the rip. It's any second now. And yes, they're away. A field of 47, and for all who finish, four and a half miles of the toughest horse of all. Pathé's travelling camera is along with the field, going on to the second fence. They're over that one. It's early yet to take much notice of the order with a close-packed field, but Fibu, Town, and Freddy are well to the front. Not quite the terror it was till it was modified, Beaches lives up to its old reputation. Among the fallers are Forgotten Dreams, Crowbeg and Edsmar. Safely over and still up front are Fibu, Peacetown and Freddy, with Capino, the Rip, Rondetto, well placed. The Green Mother watches closely as the survivors come up to the canal turn. And it's Fibu over first. Rondetto going easily leads the way to the water jump, followed by Peastown, Freddy, Lompiola, Capino, the Rip, and Leedsy. Into the second circuit, Rondetto leads Peastown and the rest. Expert race readers spot Jay Trump tucked in handily. Old Billy, Michael Scudamore's 15th national mount, is claimed at the 17th. Rondetto's over, followed without incident by the rest. Beaches for the second time, and the Brook claims third favorite, Capino. And still they fall. A victim at the canal this time is Pontingo. For Jockey Lahane, keeping still as they all go over, a miraculous escape from serious injury. Number 26 put pay to the very gallant attempt of Rondetto. 
And now the Grand National takes on its final pattern. Freddy, J. Trump, and Town battle it out in front. At fence 27, it's a duel between J. Trump and Freddy, the Scottish Hope. Riding J. Trump is the American amateur Tommy Smith. On Freddy, Pat McCarran. And the last jump of all, Jay Trump and Freddie with the rest of the field nowhere. It's years since we saw a national so exciting as this. They're almost neck and neck on this dramatic run-in of nearly 500 yards. Two very tired horses, but game to the last yard. Jay Trump's going to do it. He's done it. Deservedly a great reception for this American wonder horse, Jay Trump. Hard lines for Freddy, beaten by less than a length. Jay Trump's owner, Mrs. Stevenson, is congratulated all round. Her sensitive horse seems to object to being kissed in public. For owner, rider Tommy Smith and the marvellous Jay Trump, a star-spangled day.